In this tutorial, you will learn how to convert a PDF document into an image so that you can add to a Schoology page. So we've talked to you about making sure that any Word document, Excel, PowerPoint, Pages, Keynote, and Numbers be converted into PDF. And it's really because of accessibility. PDF is universal. Thus, every device out there should be able to open a PDF document. So just a quick review, I have a Word document here. If I wanted to turn this into a PDF or uh, export it as a PDF, I'm going to click on File. I will Save As or Save. If this is the first time you save it, if you click Save, you will get this window right here. And I'm going to name this. So this is uh, Word List. Bingo. And I'm going to save it to my desktop over here. And in the file format, it's already a Word file. I want to be able to change it to PDF. I'm going to select PDF. So here it is. I click Export and it will save this document as a PDF. And I'm going to bring this PDF file up here to the top. So there it is. No, actually. So here's my PDF file. <clears throat> it's the same. It looks the same except this is a Word document and this is a PDF file. Now, if I open up Schoology, I'm going to save this file as well so that I have this as a Word file if I need to edit. So I'm going to go ahead and save this on my Mac. I'll save it on my desktop. There we go. All right. So if I open up Chrome and I head on over to Schoology, you can add this PDF file in your course to your course. And I would add it as a welcome message. So if it's something that, you know, a specific content, let's say it's reading, and this is a word list, and I wanted to add it uh, as another assignment. So this is the Monday activity. And then I could add a Tuesday activity, so on and so forth. So maybe another page. And I would always add a page, not maybe. I would always add a page. So this would be Tuesday, your word list. So practice your word list is going to be uh, my title, my, my instructions. And then I can always add this PDF file under files. And so it'll be on my desktop. There it is. I want the PDF, not the Word doc. And I click Create. So down here at the bottom, I have a Tuesday activity. When I open it up, there it is. So students can click on View. And they can view the activity. Okay, because they might not want to, they might want to download, they might not want to download. Maybe they just want to view it to practice it. I can always make it smaller, bigger. Uh, definitely shrink it down over here so that it's viewable on one sheet. So I can zoom in, zoom out here. Notice I have two sheets, but one of them is blank. I'll show you how to fix that here in a bit. But that's my PDF file. I can always go ahead and close this. If the kids, uh, if the students click on the name of the file, it's going to ask them to download the file. So they want to make sure they click on view. And this is done inside a page. Notice I didn't go to uh, add materials, add a file. I didn't do add materials, add a file. I created this inside a page. But what if I wanted this to show up as an image in the page instead of a document that they have to click on view? Well, let's go ahead and go back to that PDF file. And let's fix a couple of things. So here's my PDF file. It opens up in preview. You'll notice up here at the top, it opens up in preview. I'm going to open up the sidebar the thumbnails because I have a problem. I have the, the page that has the information 
and then I have a blank page. So somehow when I downloaded this from the web, Bingo Baker, this is where I got this, bingobaker.com, uh, it came with two pages for some reason. The actual bingo page and the a blank page. Well, in preview, I can modify the document. If I have extra pages here, I can click on the pages that I do not need and press delete and the pages will disappear. All I have to do now is make sure I save so that those new changes are saved. And Command S for you shortcut people out there, Command S will save your document. This is still a PDF document. So what we need to do, what we need to do now is turn this PDF document into a, an image. So how do we do that? We're going to go ahead and click on File up here at the top, where it's next to Preview. And we're going to export this document into uh, as an image. So when I click Export, obviously I have my title, I have my location, but my format says PDF. I want to click on my format arrows, drop down arrows, and I want to select either JPEG or PNG. I don't recommend HEIC because that's specific to Apple devices. You want to either do JPEG or PNG. I'm going to select PNG. I like that this format better, but you can select either one. I believe JPEG is a larger file size, PNG is a smaller file size. With images, this is not a big deal. File sizes, I'm more worried about uh, the file size in a movie. So here we go. The resolution is 300. That's pretty good resolution. I'm going to go ahead and just add a little part uh, IMG for image. So, or you can type the word image just so I can differentiate between the three files that I have now. I'm going to go ahead and do that. And so now my file has been saved as an image. So I have my Tuesday activity. I have my instructions. I also have the file that they can cl click on to view the file directly on Schoology, but I want the image down here at the bottom of my instructions. So I'm going to click the edit wheel here and I'm going to edit this page. And I'm going to skip at least one space below the text instructions. And to insert the image, just like you insert a movie, you're going to click insert content. You're going to click image media and you're going to attach this file, attach the image file. So you'll notice I have quite a few files now. I have a doc, a PDF. I do have this image file here. So now I have two image files, which is okay. Um, I, it doesn't matter. Look, you'll see that both of them are the same size and they are well under the 100 megabyte limit that Schoology has. So I'm going to choose either one of these. I click open and it's going to insert the file and you don't see it. Well, where'd it go? This is a pretty big file. It's actually down here. So it, this file is pretty big. So I want to click on the file and then I want to, excuse me, I lost the file. Let me do that again. This was operator error. So let's, uh, I'll probably cut this. So again, I edit. I will skip a line and insert the image, just like I insert a movie. I click Attach File. I find my image, and I have two uh, copies of this image now, which is fine. Uh, I have uh, made two copies. I just don't want to insert the PDF. I want to insert the image. So it doesn't matter which one. They're both the same file size. I click Open, and it's going to attach the, the image. Now, where did the image go? The image went right here. It's it's a pretty big image. So I want to go ahead and click on it. And then on the left side, I have this corner. Well, I'm going to click and drag down to shorten the size of my image to make it smaller. I could click on this icon and type in image sizes. As you can tell, this is a pretty big image. Uh, but you would have to have the right dimensions uh, so that it wouldn't... Um, so it would be proportionate. Otherwise, you're going to get like a fun house image. So the easiest way to, to make sure you don't have that problem is just click and drag. Click and drag. It might take you a few times because 2,000 pixels is, is, a quite, is a lot. It's a pretty big image. But you want to make sure that it's large enough for your students to see, uh, and but not too large where it's going to get cut off. So this is, uh, I'm going to try this. This might be the right size. 
Underneath that, you have the choice, remember, of displaying that as a web page or clicking on it and displaying the page in line, which means as, as soon as they open it, they're going to see the entire content. So I'm going to say in line. And there's my image. So practice your site words below, have mom or dad say the words, and you point at the screen so they can say, mom and dad can say, N play and so they would touch the they would you know point the finger where the word play is g blue b what so that's how they would do that or i gave them the option that they can download the image file below to print if they wish so remember down here at the bottom they have the file they can go ahead and click on it download it and print it if they have a printer at home but they can still view it so they can still click here and view the image uh, but now it's inside your activity and uh, you know that's something you might you might have wanted to have for them to see if it's a flyer, you know that you found on the web that you wanted to share a flyer maybe on uh, safely washing hands or a flyer from your local library on how to access uh, ebooks and movies and stuff like that from your local library. You name it. Uh, if you want to display that flyer right away, if it's a PDF, I just show you how to convert it to an image and uh, add it to your activity. If you have any questions, please be sure to contact your instructional technology specialist.